This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. I see my royal shadow. Six more weeks of winter to go. Oh my goodness, Phil is killing us this morning. Oh, six so more cute. weeks of winter. He's so cute. That silly little rodent. He says there's six more weeks. By the way, more days to enjoy a copper mug of the mule. I'm okay with that. He's only right 40% of the time. I mean, he is a groundhog. He's a groundhog. It's yes. Okay. Happy Groundhog Day, Cheers. everybody. Oh, wait, look. Cheers. There we go. I like it. Welcome Good to morning. the show. We have a great show today. A little bummed about the winter news, but we've got a really fun show on tap, as we always do. But when we lead into the Super Bowl, things kick up a notch. Yes. yes. So Cocktails. much to focus on. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Cinemule. Pretty pumped about that. Pretty we tasty. are also all things Super Bowl today. Let me just say I'm so impressed with our friends that are bringing their A game. Maybe you're going to a Super Bowl party. Maybe you are just enjoying the food, commercials, and halftime show like me. We don't judge. We will help you throw the best Super Bowl party bash with the help of party planner Randy Lesnick. You just saw the whole spread over there. She's got it all taken care Randy of. Randy Events knows how to do it. She is awesome. She does all the big country music award parties, all sorts of celebrity events. So she's going to help us throw a great bash. Yes. And you can take some tips and use it this weekend. Pretty fun. And as we know it, it wouldn't be a party without the food. So we've got some good food Yes, we've got Decker and Dryers, executive chef here. They're in the Westin Hotel sharing some of his snacks with us. Now, this restaurant located in the Westin that's downtown, Chef Jake is making Asian meatballs in our Super Home Surplus kitchen, and he's got all sorts of other fantastic little nibbles. Literally walked over and I'm like, hey, what's this? And just started eating earlier. So it's well, going to be a good day. It's very approachable food, <laughs> Kel. It's very approachable. I was eating it. And she said, did you ask? I'm like, no, I just went in. Excellent. That's fine. Yes. Also coming up this morning, a local story about football's impact in our Nashville community. Yes, we are talking all about the Nashville Elite football team. A great story about a woman who's changing her neighborhood in a great way. We've got that coming up. Stay tuned. And we'll have great music for our fun Friday. Country artist Roy Hale is here. Hi, Roy. Hey, Roy. This guy's all about classic country. Yes, he's part of a special show. It's happening tonight. You can be a part of it. We've got all the details, and he's going to perform. Here's the big thing that we've been looking forward to. At the end of today's show, Carol and I will be testing our Super Bowl knowledge. We are going head to head in a very competitive game of trivia. Our producers have not given us any information about the game, so we're a little nervous. Yeah, we're going in cold, and that's fine. But listen, let's calm our nerves. All I know is we have to wear ponchos. Ponchos are involved, so it's going to get messy. My friend. All right. And I brushed up not at all. <laughs> Neither have I. It's I know fine. nothing. So I will. I do want to share with you, though, one of my favorite songs of all time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Take a listen. We're not here to start no trouble. We're just here to do the Super Bowl show. do this kind of stuff anymore. You know what? Because you can't do it again. It was done and then it was just like, you know what else? Refrigerator See, look Perry. at you. Look at you. I remember and that. And who's that? Who's that? Uh, Jim something, right? McMahon, right? McMahon. Or, no, wait. Is that W.E. guy? W.E. -E. No, wait, that's another guy. That's Vince. That's Vince. That's Vince. Vince. Never mind. Okay. It's fine. I'm moving on. This is going to be a great game of Super Bowl trivia. So we're all making prediction, predictions on who's going to win Sunday's game. Even the animals at the Nashville Zoo are getting in on the fun. I love this. This morning, Congo the giraffe. Quite a name for a giraffe. He made his big pick. Before we reveal his results, we'll have to let you know, Congo has a solid track record. Mm -hmm. He has picked the correct winner for the past five years. Okay. How about that? Drum That's a roll, giraffe. please. Congo chooses the Patriots. Oh, okay, Congo. I see you. Look I don't know. You. It looks like it was really thrown in his face. Oh, <laughs> sweet Congo. Check it out. Now, we got to have to watch Sunday to see if Congo is uh, still in the winning streak. Oh, I really I mean, built that up. I thought that was really, going to be a lot more exciting than just that just, little he sheet it. of paper. I thought they were going to have food on either one, and then he would go, you know, to eat one of them. And <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Hey, that's okay. That's how you got to roll. Some okay. things are better than others. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm pumped about. This Super Bowl prediction game that they are doing on the Today Show. It's just so great. I was looking forward to it all day. The Baby Crawl. Savannah Guthrie, huge Eagles fan. It is no secret that Dylan Dreyer 
loves the Patriots. Okay. Like deep in her soul. They both have little babies, so why not let the kids compete? Take a look. at these poor babies. Holy cow. Oh, stop. Oh, that's fun. That's just parental encouragement, Kel. Have you not been to youth sports? Did you, did you see them, though? They're screaming, and the babies are like, what is happening in my life? Why are you screaming at me right now? Oh, my God. great. I love it so much. Okay, oh, Dylan God. won. So Patriots, cute. we'll see. I feel like there was some cheating involved. A little bit. She's like, here's a snack, here's a snack. I like it. Come over here. So bad, so bad. Okay, Kelly and I don't mind being twinsies every once in a while. Yay! Yeah, we're on board with it. Yeah. But we're wearing red today in support of Go Red for Women. It is National Wear Red Day. And you can head to the Pedestrian Bridge right now to join in a special rally if you'd like. It's happening at 1230 Downtown Pedestrian Bridge, and it will include a marching band and plenty of giveaways. Very cool, St. Thomas Heart supporting this. Yep. Go Red, Heart Health. More information on how you get involved you can go to their website, goredforwomen.org. Also tonight, Nissan Stadium, take a look. It will be red from 5 to 11. So if you're driving by, you will spot it all lit up. Okay, if you feel the need to move after you gorge on all the food this weekend, we have an event just for you. The race is happening next Saturday. It's February the 10th at Shelby Park, and it's a Cupid chase. Isn't that the sweetest name? It's Cupid. It's only a 5K, 3.2 miles. You can do it, everybody. All the proceeds benefit a group called Community Options. Community Options helps people in our area with disabilities. All right. Now, you don't have to run the race. No, you can walk, jog, bring a stroller. Anyone is welcome. It's going to be a good time, and you can register online now or at the race. Again, it's happening next Saturday on the 10th. Registration starts at 7, and then the race starts at 8. Look at Snowbird out there. It's good. I love it. Got to work it off. Time now for our City Auto Weekend Showcase. Fun things happening all around the city. Tonight, head to Winter Jam at Bridgestone Ooh. Arena. Doors open at 6. The show starts at 7. You do not need a ticket to go. Just a suggested donation of $15. For more information, go to BridgestoneArena.com. Also tomorrow, head over to Black Abbey Brewery for their eight more beers of winter <laughs> event. Black Abbey is teaming up with Corsair Distillery, a place we know and love, and you know it's going to be really good. From noon until 8, it will feature barrel-aged beers. There's also going to be food from Steaming Goat and a DJ to help keep the party going. I love it. And you still have time to catch a king and I. Oh gosh, I gotta get over there. It's at T-Pac. It's like the one Getting performance I really wanted to you. see. All right, show runs through Sunday. I'm gonna go to the website, T-Pac. Tpac.org. You can go to Tupac. You can go to Tupac. Not gonna get you there. No, not gonna get you not there. around. Not around anymore. Yes. It's Tpac. Anyway, and of course, there. King and I till Sunday. Tons of great places to watch the Super Bowl. You can go to Acme, ML Rose, uh, Decker and Dryer, and also Germantown Depot, just to name a few. There might be a couple places. Couple places you can watch around Super town. Bowl. All right, it's time for our favorite. This what? is what are we drinking what instead of what drinking? are we eating? This is Black Raspberry Chocolate Chip Milk Stout. It's from Grater's Ice Cream and Braxton Brewing Company working together. It is available in Nashville for a limited time at Kroger. Black so Raspberry, raspberry chocolate, chocolate Chip, chip stout. Milk Stout. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I didn't see your face. I just heard a pause. No, I was like, <laughs> no, that, that's nice. So, and look, I'm not a beer girl. Like, I'm, right, right, right. <laughs> I right. go for the hard liquor every time. It's true. It's a true story. It's fine. But it's yeah, fine. I like this. This is good. I'm into it. It kind of does taste like ice cream, doesn't it? It's sort of like a little snack.